State women's basketball coach Ty Evans. Coach, you just took down Southern Indiana, 9-0 uh, in the OVC play. Took them down 65-58 here at home. Uh, two OVC wins in a row. Just talk about today's performance from your girls. I thought the effort was unbelievable. I mean, we've been talking about peaking in February. Uh, we didn't want to peak in November, and obviously we didn't. But I think right now, you know, we're trending the right way because all good teams, you want to start peaking, you know, February and getting ready for March. So I think that's what, what, what you're seeing right now. Um, you know, I do want to talk about the offensive end, but I want to start defensively. And I've got to say, the leader in the clubhouse there, uh, Flora Barnes, and, and just setting the tempo, it's got to be uh, number 340. Ain't no doubt. No doubt about it. I mean, she was on the floor taking charges and just setting the tempo. What can you just say about her? Man, her effort has been unbelievable. And the thing about Ev is she hasn't been 100% healthy all year. We're trying to monitor her health because when she's healthy, oh, my God both ends of the floor, the girl plays so hard. I mean, what you saw tonight, just taking charges. And she does it every game, but tonight it was just extra. You know, I challenged her to rebound, and if you saw the last three minutes, I think she got every rebound, you know. Rebounding, playing post D, knocking down threes. I thought she got a hell of a basketball game. Uh, what can you say just about the scoring punch, Sana St. Andre and uh, Zion Shannon? It just seems like those two are just uh, kind of finding their rhythm on both ends of uh, where to take shots. and where to get the ball to their teammates? Well, they're bucket getters, you know, and I, I, I like them to play with confidence. I give them a lot of freedom, you know, and I think they're good enough basketball players to understand how not to take advantage of the freedom. And I think with their athleticism and their ability to be able to, uh, to make baskets, they're tough to guard, whether you're playing man or zone, so. We saw USI in a 2-3 zone day for the good part of the game. Uh, we saw Karina Suarez today come in and knock down two threes for you. Talk about her just coming in, uh, working that zone and making those threes. <laughs> Funny story about that. So in uh, shoot around today, I told her, I said, hey, look, I'm pulling the trigger on you today, so get ready. Because I remember last year up there, she started the first game we played up there and hit two threes. So I wanted her to channel some of that energy. I knew she was going to be confident. She's a very confident young lady. And the one thing that I tell the players is you never know when it's your time. You never know when it's your moment. But when it's your moment, you have to step up. And that's exactly what she did. Uh, the last thing I, I want to talk about is just the contributions of every single player. It seemed like every single player came in, was confident, knew their role, uh, no, no really blown assignments defensively. Because I know, you know, over the, the, the season, you know, there's been a few blown assignments and it cost you buckets. It just seemed like today was a very clean game defensively. What can you just attribute just all that in terms of just every single player knowing exactly where they're supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing, and just being on top of it? Well, for one, we rep it every day. You know, we, we go through our defensive assignments, we work on our press, we work on our rotations every single day. And the other thing I don't think people realize, we haven't had our whole team all year. We're just now to the point to where we have everybody back. So now when you have everybody playing, you can have better rotations. You have rotations to where you get kind of used to knowing where you're supposed to be, as opposed to putting people in positions that they're not used to, right? Unfortunately, Sanaya Parker wasn't with us today. Hopefully she feels better, but we had to make some adjustments on the fly, you know, but because in November and December, we were doing that today, it wasn't a big of a deal because they've been in that position before. So what you're seeing now, to me, is an accumulation of what's been happening all year. So now it's kind of paying off. And, well, I do have another question, but <laughs> um, what can you say about just your girls? They play extremely hard. Hard, hard. that's what we're about. Win, lose, whatever, hard. they play extremely hard. What, what can you just attribute that to? It's about effort. It's about something that we emphasize every single day. And I can tell you something that's underrated. They actually like each other. So when you like each other, you want to play for each other on the floor. And that's what it's all about. You know, and that's why I love basketball, because basketball is basically another family. It's a team game. One person can't do it. And that's something that we try to emphasize every day. And I think that's what you're seeing out there right now. Teams who don't talk on the floor, they don't like each other. I can't get them to shut up on the bus. I can't get them to shut up in the locker room. I can't get them to shut up in practice. Now I can't get them to shut up in games, and it's a beautiful thing. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us. Appreciate you.